Hi, welcome to my video on Equivalent Rational Expressions, Part 2. Part 2. Write each fraction with the same denominator. Okay, to do that, if I need the same denominator for both these to have equivalent fractions, I have to find the LCD. So the LCD is x plus 1 and a 4. So the LCD is 4 times x plus 1, because you need each of these. So, if, if I got an x plus 1, I need a 4, because 4 times x plus 1 will give me 4 times x plus 1. So if I put 4 on the denominator, I need to put 4 in the numerator. So 4 over 4 is the same as 1. So leave your denominator in factored form, like 4 times x minus 4 but multiply your numerators to get a 12. And right here, I have a 4, so I need an x plus 1. 4 times x plus 1. So 4 divided into this, you can see you need an x plus 1. So I put an x plus 1 on the top. So that means the bottom will be 4 times x plus 1. So multiply these two, I get an x squared plus x. So both fractions now have the same denominators that you can see because they're in factored form. Leave them, the denominators in factored form, like this. But multiply your numerators. B, what's the LCD? Well, I have, I need a 4, yes. I need an x minus 3. And I need an x plus 6. How do I know? Well, 4 is there, x minus 3 is there, so this denominator is in here, and 4 is there, and x plus 6 is there, so this denominator is here. So that's the LCD. So, what do you need to multiply 4 times x minus 3 to give you this? You need an x plus 6. So, the if you do, then leave your denominator in factored form. Don't multiply your denominator. Just leave them in factored form like that. But multiply your numerators. And let's multiply fast. x times x, x squared. Negative 2 times 6, negative 12. Outside, 6. Inside, negative 2. Add 4x. Now, if you don't like to do it like that fast, then go 6x minus 2x and add them up again. But what happens when you do that, you've got to write down your line twice or your fraction twice. But I'm doing it fast. It's up to you. Take your time. Make sure you do it right. Now, what do you need to multiply this one by? Well, I have a 4. I, have an x. I need to multiply it by x minus 3, top and bottom. So the denominator is 4 times x plus 6 times x minus 3. This denominator is the same as this one, only right here is an x minus 3x plus 6. This denominator is uh, 4 times x plus, but they're the same. The orders just change. 7 times x, 7x. Seven, 7 times negative 3, negative 21. So these two fractions are equivalent. So this fraction here is equivalent to this one. This fr fraction here is equivalent to this one, but both of these got the same denominator. And the LCD, I need an x plus 2, or sorry, right? I see need an x minus, sorry, x plus 9. And what else do I need? I need an x minus 1. So what do I need to multiply this fraction by to give me this? I need an x minus 1 top and bottom. What do we need to multiply this one by? I need an x plus 9 because that's what's missing. But I got to do it top and bottom. Now, if you want to, when you're doing these, you can put these in the same order. Both of these can be the same. You don't have to go like this and this. If I put x plus 2, x plus 9, and x minus 1, I can do that here too because multiplication is commutative. And that little tr 
trick you'll do later. So this denominator here is the same as this one, only we got the order chain. So remember that two times three times five is 30. So two times five times three is 10 times three is 30, they're the same. I just changed the order, same multiplication, you switch the order around. So anyway, these two are now the same, even though I have them different here. I can write that one like that one, because they're going to be the same. So 4 times x, 4 times negative 1. And foil is x times x, x squared. 5 nines are 45. And 9 plus 5 is a plus 4d. Because I did the outside, which is 9x. Inside is 5x, gives me 4d. And there's the two fractions, two fractions of the same denominators. And right here, I got an x plus 2. I'm going to, if you factor the denominators, you will see the LCD much easier. So I have this one factored. Notice I didn't write this one down. I just rolled it right underneath because it saves you time when you're doing a test. So my LCD is x plus 2 times x minus 2, got to be this one, and what's over in this one that's not here, a 2. So, I have an x plus 2, x minus 2, I need to multiply it by a 2, over 2. Over here, I got a 2 and an x plus 2, I need an x minus 2. So when I multiply, I'm going to use whatever I have here, I'm going to put right here. So this is 2 times x plus 2 x minus 2. This is going to be 2 times x plus 2 and x minus 2. Keep these the same. 2 times x, 2 times 3. Negative 10 times x, negative 10 times negative 2. So now I have this fraction is equivalent to this one, this fraction is equivalent to this one, but both of these have the same denominator, which means you're ready to add. Because you've got the same denominators, you add the numerators, the addition rule. We did that in the previous video. And number E, I have to factor. So x outside of x minus 6. And I have to factor x outside of x minus 7. And so the LCD, I have to have an x and an x minus 6. The x is already there. I need an x minus 7. So I have to factor them to pick up the LCD done. So what do I multiply x times x minus 6 to give me this? I need an x minus 7, top and bottom. So that gives me, if you want to look at it, that gives me, again, this denominator, put it down here, and multiply. I got x times x, x squared. And notice that the, when you Outside is negative 7. Inside is positive 7. That's a 0. And negative 7 times plus 7 is negative 49. And this denominator, write it down again, same order. Perfect. And we need to multiply this one by, we got an x, we got an x minus 7, we need an x minus 6, top and bottom. So that gives me 2 times x, 2x. 2 times negative 4, negative 8. Two fractions. Both are equivalent. That's, this one is equivalent to this one. This one is equivalent to this one. But they have the same denominator. We're ready to add and subtract them. Perfect. Let's do some practice. Practice means pause the video and work at your answers and press playback to see if you're right. Try, try them first. Here we go. What's the LCD for 6 and X? Well, the LCD is 6x. So we need to multiply this one by x over x and this one by 6 over 6. That gives us x squared over 6x and this one gives us 42 over 6x. Perfect. Same denominators. And the LCD for 3 and x minus 2 is 3 times x minus 2. So you need to multiply x minus 2 by 3. You need to multiply 3 by x minus 2. So put a 3 here, put it there. 
That gives me 39 over 3 times x minus 2. And x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x, all over 3 times x minus 2. So whatever denominator you have here, write the two of these the same way. Notice you had to multiply by 3 over 3 and x minus 2 over x minus 2. LCD, I need a 2. Notice I, I need a 2 and an x, so I need a 2x and an x plus 1. So I need an x plus 1, I need a 2 and an x. So there's the LCD. So I multiply this one by x, top by x. This one doesn't have a 2, so I multiply by 2 over 2. That gives me, again, write both denominators this way. 2x times x plus 1. 2x times x plus 1. Multiply 7 times x. Perfect. x minus 4 times 2. 2x minus 8. Hopefully you begin to see the pattern I'm trying to establish. LCD is x minus 3, x plus 2. They're different. So you multiply this one by x minus 2, top and bottom. Multiply this one by x minus 3, top and bottom. So what denominator do you want? Write down this one. x minus 3, x minus 2. x minus 3, x minus 2. Now multiply 4 times x, 4 times negative 2. 5 times x, 5 times negative 3. Perfect. And the LCD, I got a 4, an x plus 6, and I got a 4x. So I need the 4 and the x and the x minus 6. Because 4 and x plus 6 are right there. 4x is right there. Perfect. What do I need extra? I need the x. Top and bottom. Why don't we need extra to multiply by 4x to give you this? x plus 6. And the same denominator twice. 4x times x plus 6. This is a little... Uh, uh, Actually, pattern that I follow when I do it. You'll see more of this when we go to add and subtract later. So I keep the same denominators, the same uh, order. And so x plus 3 times x is x squared plus 3x. And we got a foil on this again, binomials. So I got an x squared. Notice the outside is plus 6, the inside is minus 6, it gives you 0. So the last one is 36. That's it. Notice the difference of two squares. They're factored here. When you multiply these, you get x squared minus 6 because the outside and inside cancel to give you 0. Let's continue. More practice. The more practice you get, the better. Hopefully everything is working okay. And now I got two, three fractions. Don't make any difference. So I have a 3 x plus 4 and a 2, x plus 4 and a 6. So I see that a 6 is the LCD for 3 and 2, and I need an x plus 4. So 6 is an LCD for 3 and 2. So I need to multiply. 3 times 2 gives me 6, and I don't need an x plus 4. Right here, I have a, need a 3. And right here, I need an x plus 4. But we have to go 2 over 2, 3 over 3, x plus 4 over x plus 4. And your denominator is x 6 times x plus 4. 6 times x plus 4. 6 times x plus 4. Because two, 3 times 2 is 6 x plus 4. That gives me a 4 on the top. 2 times 3 is 6 times x plus 4. That gives me a 3x on the top. And 6 times x plus 4. There it is. So I've got to do foil on this. So here we go. 
Notice 4 and 3 are different, so they're not going to give you 0 in the middle. So x times x, x squared. Negative 3 times plus 4, minus 12. And outside is a 4. Inside is negative 3, so it's a plus 1x. Again, if you don't like this style, multiply it out on a sheet of scrapper and then put the answer in. That's another way to do it. Rather than write down a lot of steps, multiply this on scrap paper and then put the final answer in like that. Save your time in writing the steps over and over and over. Number seven, the LCD. Well, and not the LCD as it is would be uh, x, x squared minus 2x times 5x minus 10. But if we factor it, we get an x outside of x minus 2. We get a 5 outside of x minus 2. So the LCD for these two, I see a 5, because I put the number first. Then I see an x and an x minus 2. So I see x times x minus 2 with a 5. So 5x times x minus 2 is the LCD. So what do I multiply this one by? I need a 5. 5 over 5. What do I multiply this one by? I need an x. So I multiply by x over x. So the denominator is 5x times x minus 2. Both of them. Keep them in the same order. Multiply. 5 times x minus 2. 5x minus 5. x times x plus 6. x squared plus 6x. Number 8. All right. Just check. Descending order. Yes. Yep. So I have to factor. Difference of two squares, x, x, 7, 7, plus, minus, because there's no zero, zero x is in the middle. And this one is factorable. I got a 1, and I bet that one of the factors over here will be here. So we got an x and an x to give you x squared. Factors of 7 are 7 and 1. So is it going to be a plus 7 or minus 7? Product is positive. Sum is positive. So it's a plus 7 plus 1. And so the LCD has got to be this one, x plus 7, x minus 7. You've got to have this one. Now what's here that's not up here? x plus 1. You've got to have one of each of the factors. So this denominator is right there with an extra. This denominator is right there, and this is extra. So what do we need? We need to multiply this one by x plus 1 top and bottom. And this one needs to be multiplied by x minus 7, top and bottom. And the denominator I'm going to write down is these three, x plus 7, x minus 7, x plus 1. And that's going to be x plus 7, x minus 7, x plus 1. Multiply 4x, negative 4 times these two, negative 4x minus 4. And guess what? We have a foil on this again. 7 and 1 won't add up to give you 0, so therefore, multiply x times x, x squared. 1 times negative 7, negative 7. Outside, negative 7. Inside, plus 1. That's a 6, negative 6x. Again, you want to multiply that on a piece of scrap paper and then write this answer in. Go ahead. That's a better way to do it. You don't have to write it down so often. And number 10. Descending order, yes. Descending, yes. Descending to one constant, yes. But we have to factor to find out the LCD. We have to factor to find out the LCD. We have to factor. And what do you think? I see an X and an X. Factors of 3 are 3 and 1. And what do you think? Plus 3 minus 1? Let's see. Plus 3. Yep. Multiply. Negative 3. Add. Plus 2. So those two factors here are in this one. Because they don't go with a, a lot of different factors. And the LCD is 4. And you got to have an X plus 3. And you got to have an X minus 1. Let's see, are these two factors 
in this yes are these two factors here yes are these two factors here yes so we have mol now what are we going to multiply by what do i need extra x minus one what do i need extra x plus three What do I need extra? Just four. So I put four on the bottom, four on the top. X minus one on the bottom, X minus one on the top. X plus three on the bottom, X plus three on the top. And all denominators are going to be the same. Four times X plus three, X minus one. Right, so just write them down now even though the order on the top is not identical. Notice I got four times x plus three, x minus one. This is four times x minus one, x plus three. But if I write all these the same way, they will, the product of four, x minus one, x plus three is still here. Because the order in multiplication makes no difference. Multiply the numerators x times x minus 1 is x squared minus x. 6 times x plus 3, 6x plus 18. And x minus 8 times 4 is 4x minus 32. And hopefully you're seeing the pattern. It's not hard, just remember. Remember to uh, factor your denominators and they have to be in descending order. So, uh, square and a 1, cubed and a square, perfect. So I see a 2x and I see an x minus 1. When I divide 2x into both of these, I see an x and a square. x squared is common, so I get an x minus 1. And this one won't change. So the LCD, notice, is going to be, you got a 2x squared and you got an x minus 1. You got a 2, you got an x squared, and x minus 1. You got to have the x squared. So there's 1 and the x minus 1. Now, what do you need to multiply by? I got a 2x and an x minus 1, I need an x. I got an x squared and an x minus 1, I need a 2. I got a 2x squared, I need an x minus 1, top and bottom. Notice, if you put it on the bottom, you have to put it on the top. And all these denominators are the same. 2x squared, x minus 1. 2x squared, x minus 1. 2x squared, x minus 1. Multiply the numerators. x squared plus x. 2 times 10x minus 6. 3 times 3x minus 3. Perfect. Number 12. Descending order, x squared, constant, perfect, none. So this is, notice now, we have a, just watch it is, we have a negative x plus 3. we got to have a descending order, the x goes first. But notice we have a negative. So that negative, we take it out. So we took the negative out. But... If we want, that negative can, shouldn't stay there. So we multiply top and bottom by negative 1, so that becomes negative x over x minus 3. So 3 minus x is not the right order, so I changed it. Then I took the negative out and made it negative outside of x minus 3. Multiply negative times a positive is a negative, negative times a negative is positive. When you take a negative out, you change these signs to opposites. Minus becomes a plus, plus becomes a minus. The negative shouldn't stay on the bottom, so we move it to the top. So this fraction right here is the same as this. Now, why did I do that? Because, as you can see, watch, this denominator factors into x plus 3, x minus 3. And this one is the same. It's a negative x minus 3 in descending order. We take the negative out, makes it x plus 3. And that negative goes in the top become negative x plus 10 over x plus 3.
repeat. We change the order. There it is, but we don't change the signs. We take the negative out, makes that a plus and a plus. And the negative does not stay in the bottom, it goes to the top. So we're really multiplying the top and bottom by negative 1. So negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 10 is plus 10. And a negative times a negative positive. Now you can see by factory that the LCD is x minus 3, x plus 3. That means you don't have to change this fraction. You multiply this one by x plus 3, top and bottom. That gives you negative x squared minus 3x over x and it can go x plus 3, x minus 3 makes no difference. And this one is 2x plus 1 all over x plus 3, x minus 3. And this one, you got to multiply it by x plus 3 is 0, we need an x minus 3. And so this denominator is x plus 3, x minus 3. All denominators, I kept them the same. Now multiply negative x times x is the negative x squared 10 times negative 3 is negative 30 outside is a 3 inside is a 10 so that's a 13 x again if you want to do foil and just write this answer in do the foil on this on a sheet of scrapper and then write this answer down it makes it faster to do and that's a total review of writing equivalent fractions. And all the fractions have to have the same denominator. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Because there's more videos coming your way. Visit my website, www.mathfullyexplained.com, to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And this is the content. This is on my YouTube channel. Math, we explain. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye bye.